G'day. Down the shed today, we'll run through doing a valve set on a TD42. We'll start off by giving the area a good clean and go from there. Now, while we're waiting for that to warm up to uh, operating temperature, we'll have a cup of coffee. I've got the engine at operating temperature, 75 degrees. Well, that's warm enough anyway. We'll go from there. Letting it sit there idle up to temperature gave it a chance to dry off. But I'll just give it another blow off with compressed air. With the area clean now, so you don't get any debris inside your engine, remove whatever air intake piping you've got or your filter box to access the rocker cover. Now, a little tip for any air intake piping, just bang a glove, plastic bag or something over it. Try not to jam a rag in there, because sometimes you forget, which I learnt the hard way one day. Now let's uh, just pull the rocker cover off, 14 bolts, 10 mil. Okay, with the rocker cover off, go along and give each rocker a number, starting at the front. 1 to 12, turn the engine over till you have cylinder number 1 at top dead centre and both of these will be rocking. I'll show you the timing marks. To turn the engine over I've just taken off the lower fan shroud so I can get a 41mm socket up onto that crank and use the Adapter with a half inch drive ratchet, turn the engine over. It's a bit hard to show you exactly where the mark is, but I've got a spare engine I'll show you. So that first mark you see on the harmonic balancers to set up your fuel pump. It's the second mark you want for top dead center. The timing mark on the engine is just there. So roughly straight under that bolt on the front of the fuel pump cover. Once you have cylinder one top dead center, just run through the procedure and cross them off as you go or put a mark on top of the rocker so you know you've done it. There's your feeler gauge measurements you'll need. 0.35 of a mil or 14th hour. So what you're basically doing is going along, putting the feeler gauge between the rocker and the top of the valve. I'll try and do a zoom in after photo. Um, and you're just going for even drag which that feels all right. Same with number two, probably a bit tight there, but yeah. There we go. Nice drag on that. And just go along in that sequence, then rotate the engine 360 degrees and do the other series of numbers. Now I found number four slightly loose. Just crack the locking nut, 12 mil. So that's just loose. Then with the screwdriver, 
adjust it in until you've got that nice drag and then lock it up there you go So what I've done before I turned it over 360 degrees again, I just put a mark on the harmonic balancer and then onto the sump. So while I'm turning it over, it makes it easier than jumping up and down. Now I found I only had to adjust a few, but this is something you should probably do every 20,000 Ks. All right, bang your rocker cover back on. Good time to uh, do a gasket replacement go from there these are the tools I used for the job basically the only specialized stuff you need is a 41 mil socket turn over the crank and some feeler gauges your basic tools flat blade an offset spanner and socket set will get you through magnetic dish is handy throw everything in right hey rocker cover back in place air intake reconnected it's time to start it up make sure it's all sweet just a little tip when you're doing up the rocker cover just start in the middle work your way out back to front opposites and they only have to be done up hand tight just nipped up otherwise you'll pinch the gasket no worries righto dirty thumbs up hopefully that helps you out if there's anything I missed or any other tips we could give others Throw it in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, take it easy. Like and subscribe.